Buttercup. I'm Mikey. Welcome to Thailand. Today's adventure, it's a very special one, kind of a bucket list adventure for me. I hired a private long boat to take out to Pee Pee Lay, which was oh, sorry, the second largest of the Pee Pee Islands um, and made famous for probably one of the most well-known beaches in the world, Maya Bay, which is of course where they filmed the movie The Beach and it only recently reopened and it is absolutely <laughs> what was I saying? it's absolutely pristinely beautiful now no boats are allowed in the bay and um, the whole of Pee Pee Lay Island is absolutely stunning Pee Lay Lagoon oh my gosh just you wait and then we're gonna have a little wander around Pee Pee Don as well so Come and follow me, let's go! Good morning, I'm up early at sunrise uh, because I'm going to get an early private longboat and go out to Maya Bay and Pee Pee Lay a couple of other places um, before all the hordes of tourists arrive so um, it's definitely worth waking up early for views like this. This is what happens when the tide comes up and you need to get to your boat. <laughs> My driver's just trying to retrieve the boat which kind of went out with the tide by jumping across other boats. <laughs> we'll get there. Just on the boat, about to head off. Driver's just refueling. Uh, let's go on an adventure. Okay, this is Viking Cave. How many people live inside there? I've just been told. Crazy. Okay, this place is absolutely unreal. The water is crystal clear and it's stunning. anything of 
Bay Bay. Obviously famous from the movie The Beach. Um, I've been here once, years and years ago, maybe 15 years ago. At that time it was full of speedboats and tourists, so it's going to be really interesting to see since COVID and the tourists have gone away and also it's been closed for years to regenerate. Um, it'd be nice to see the paradise it's meant to be. Okay, I've just arrived at the entry to Pipi Lei Island. I'm gonna walk, walk across the middle to Maya Bay. Okay, so at the entry to the island, you pay a 400 baht uh, island fee, um, which I guess is for restoring the island back to what it was before it got destroyed by tourism so i feel like that's a fair price about 12 dollars new zealand i think no australian <laughs> 16 dollars uh, walking through the island now um very different Last time I came here it was all just sandy dirt paths, now it's uh, all proper boardwalks, there was a little visitor centre which was closed but it had been built at least, um, so at least the um, entry fee is going somewhere. Okay, just arrived in Maya Bay, it looks completely different without all the speedboats. Well, it really is beautiful. The water is the most stunning turquoise blue colour. Um, I'm not allowed to swim anymore, unfortunately. But I think that's because uh, sharks are living in here now. And the sand is like powdery white. It's just stunning. Okay, that was my bay. Um, yes, absolutely stunningly beautiful, but also, even though I came early to beat the crowds, still a massive tourist trap. It's really amazing how one movie in a place can change it.
here I've come into this little cove looking for monkeys. That was one of the best mornings I've ever had. Um, I was umming and ahhing about whether to pay for a um, private boat or join a, a tour. But if you're thinking about that, just pay the extra, I don't know what it is in Australian dollars, 20 bucks or something like that, um, to get the private boat because the experience is unreal. Um, went to the most beautiful places, had free rain, didn't get trapped with all the uh, speedboats full of tourists um, and just had the most incredible time. The snorkeling was out of this world, probably the best I've ever seen. Um, and I was just really lucked out by having a beautiful, clear, sunny day and still waters. So, um, yeah, morning well spent. Maya Bay. Um, by the way, I managed to get a really cheap discount from my. Um, villa and it was meant they charged me 1500 baht for the entire uh, boat trip which is about 60 bucks so it's less than it costs to get to the airport in Melbourne um, well worth it for a three-hour trip 
Five stars. <laughs> So I'm pretty exhausted from all my activities, uh, so I'm just going to spend the last afternoon wandering around the streets a little bit, maybe do some shopping. Right now I'm eating papaya on the main beach, uh, which at night becomes the party beach, so maybe I'll check that out tonight since I haven't yet. Last night on PP, I could stay here for weeks and weeks and uh, not get sick of it. Um, just watching the sunset at my villa. It's so still, beautiful sunset. Would have been a much better night to be kayaking than when it was rough seas and I almost drowned. But uh, them's the breaks. Uh, yeah, had an amazing time. And tonight I'm going to go down and check out the beach parties. Uh, the best food I had was at that place called Garlic Restaurant. Delicious green curry, super, super cheap. Um, but I've been recommended to try another place called Papaya Restaurant tonight by my uh, hotel manager. Um, so I'm gonna check it out. How good was that? Thanks for watching. Ugh, hope you enjoyed it. You wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as me, so you have to go and see it in person sometime. Um, also check out some of my other PP Island videos. I'll put the little links. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next adventure. Peace.